Hello, I'm Glenn Potberg, Director of Sales and Marketing for Thermopride, and today we're going to be taking a look at the installation of a CMA condensing gas manufactured home furnace. Before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about Thermopride. We've been in business for over 60 years, and all of our products, gas furnaces, oil furnaces, air conditioners, and our newly introduced heat pump are designed in the USA and manufactured in our two manufacturing facilities in North Carolina using only American steel. Now the CMA comes in two sizes. The CMA 75, which we'll be installing today, 75,000 BTU input, and also a CMA 50, a 50,000 BTU version that shares the same cabinetry. Now CMA is designed to be the ideal replacement furnace for those mid-efficiency furnaces you often find in manufactured or mobile homes. And during the installation, you'll see how easily this furnace fits in to the space allocated. Now some of the features of the CMA that are important to you and your consumer customer are first of all, both models are 95% efficient. That means that they often qualify for federal, state, local, and utility tax rebates. And when it comes to warranties, the CMA is second to none. The CMA furnace has a 10-year parts warranty standard. And in addition, the heat exchanger is covered for the lifetime of the unit. And that's not just to the original owner. As long as that unit is in that initial installation, the heat exchanger is covered. In fact, we have so much faith in the integrity of our heat exchangers that we offer a 10-year push-pull as standard. And what that means is, if that heat exchanger fails due to manufacturing defect, any time within the first 10 years after installation, it's covered and we not only provide a new heat exchanger, we give you and the consumer a whole new CMA furnace. Now this furnace is really designed as the ideal replacement furnace for those mid-efficiency units that are typically found in manufactured or mobile homes. One of the other nice features is that using our concentric vent kit, which we will see during the installation today, you can go up through the existing roof jack. No need to penetrate a new hole through the ceiling of the building. The CMA is available with three different base combinations depending on the needs of your particular installation. If you have an existing M100 base in excellent condition, you can use that or replace it with our Model 70 base. For those jobs that call for air conditioning, we have our coil cabinet. This cabinet can accommodate up to three tons of air conditioning, whether that be R22 or 410A. The furnace simply slides along the glides on top of this cabinet and locks into place, ensuring the integrity of your installation. Now for the jobs without ductwork, we have our cabinet here. This is available for cottage or cabin use or even in that garage where there is no ductwork. It comes complete with three registers. You can use one, two, or all three to divert the heat into the area that you'd like to condition. Now, let's take a look at the actual installation of a CMA as we go to the job site where Arrow Energy from New Oxford, Pennsylvania is installing a CMA this morning. To start, remove the existing furnace and base. We are installing a CMA-275 in a manufactured home. Since this home is cooled by a self-contained air conditioner, we will be using the 70 base and an air damper. The 70 base is designed for a retrofit application and will fit into the footprint of a standard mobile home furnace. Many times the existing base can be reused Attach the 70 base to the floor. Cut and attach the transition plenum to the base and the existing ductwork. Install the air damper. This ensures the cool air from the air conditioner will not backfeed through the furnace. The backfeed would cause the heat exchanger to sweat, shortening the life of the heat exchanger. Carefully set the furnace on the base. 
Caution must be taken not to damage the felt gasket on the base. This gasket prevents any air leakage between the base and the furnace. Many installations allow the venting to go up through the original roof jack. This prevents disturbing the home's existing roofing material. The concentric kit uses the 4-inch roof jack liner as a chase. The concentric kit slides down inside the existing roof jack using a 4x3 coupling. 2-inch PVC piping is used to tie the intake and exhaust of the furnace to the concentric kit. The exhaust must be pitched to allow condensate to drain down the flue pipe. On low ceiling homes, Street 45 fittings are needed. Rubber couplings are used to tie the furnace to the flue and inlet. The gas line enters the furnace on the bottom left of the unit. The gas piping must include a manual gas shutoff and a drip leg. All piping must be leak tested using a soap and water solution. All gas piping must follow state and local codes and the National Fuel Gas Code. Attach the 110 volt 15 amp circuit through the half inch knockout on the upper left side of the unit. Attach the line and neutral with wire nuts and attach the ground on the green ground screw located on the furnace. All wiring must follow state and local codes, including the National Electric Code. The thermostat wire passes through a plastic grommet on the upper left side of the unit. The thermostat connections are made on the fan control board. A 3 amp fuse on the board protects the low voltage circuit. Condensate from the furnace must be drained into the home waste drain. Local codes may require a neutralizer kit to remove the acidity in the condensate before it leaves the home. Care must be taken not to run the condensate line where the line could freeze. A condensate pump may be needed if a drain is unavailable. CMA units come set up for natural gas. A conversion kit is needed to convert the unit to propane. Conversion kits come with all units. The kit consists of three replacement gas orifices and a replacement spring for the gas valve. At startup, both inlet and manifold gas pressures must be checked. For natural gas, the inlet pressure must be between 14 and 4.5 inches of water column. The manifold pressure must be set at 3.5 inches. Propane inlet pressures must be between 14 and 11 inches. The manifold pressure must be set at 10 inches. Remember to double-check for gas leaks using soap bubbles. A combustion test must be taken to ensure clean and proper combustion. That concludes the typical installation of a CMA. And usually, this furnace can be installed with two men and one half a day. In fact, the install we just looked at, these fellows were done by lunchtime. Now, just by way of summary, CMA is available in two sizes, 75,000 and 50,000 BTU input, both 95% efficient. 
All our models carry 10-year parts warranty, and the CMA has a lifetime heat exchanger warranty, not just to the original owner, and our 10-year push-pull. If that heat exchanger fails due to manufacturing defect, any time in the first 10 years, we replace the entire furnace. I want to thank Arrow Energy for helping us out with the installation today. They're located in New Oxford, Pennsylvania. And also, for more information on Thermal Pride, please go to our website, thermalpride.com. Thank you. A qualified installer must complete all work. All installers must read the Thermopride CMA 275 installation and operation manual before starting installation. The installer needs to be familiar with and comply with all codes and regulations applicable to the installation of these heating appliances and related equipment.